So one of the studies that I read that I mentioned was really alarming was this MIT study that took about four months to complete with 54 students and they split these students out into three different groups. The task was to write an essay and one group wasn't allowed to use internet or chat GPT. The second group was only allowed to use internet. And then the third group was only allowed to use chat GPT. And so essentially what they did was monitor their neural activity with an EEG monitor so they can see various different brain waves. And turns out that there was reduced cognitive engagement in the group that used chat GPT. And so while the chat GPT users were able to complete the task 60% faster, their cognitive load fell by 32% and 83% of the AI users were unable to remember anything that they had written down. And so when you think about it, when you reduce memory, concentration, and analytical skills, and so these are essentially all the skills that we can outsource to chat GPT, essentially what happens is that starts to lead to reducing the cognitive processes in your brain. And in order to obtain and memorize things, you need cognitive processes to be firing because it helps to create neural pathways within your brain. And so let's talk about three ways that you can use ChatGPT without this happening to you. 